What a beautiful morning. There's a big white swan out in the lake there. Very cool. Diving down under. Probably looking for bait fish or something. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you that a little bit of nature there to start the morning. Alright. Hey everybody, back again at the honey hole. I brought a light with me today to see what the heck I'm doing down in here. But uh, pretty much just laying on the bottom there. I couldn't see it last time, it was too dark. Got this nice green cork top rib bottle. Now, common everybody thinks these are poison bottles but I truly believe this one might be it's got an applied top that's a sweet nice color green too nice like it good start As you can see, I cleaned up that uh, what I thought was a poison bottle. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's very lightly embossed, not to be taken. Sweet! Hey guys, I'm back. Um, it's been pretty slow today. A lot of these bottles are just shattered. Um, I don't know what's going on. Maybe there looks like there's been a lot of water in this part of the dump. Um, there's a little test tube vial thingy there, but up top there's like a looks like stoneware, and it's like a bluish green. Don't know if it's whole. I don't even know what it is. Could be just a teapot for all I know. But it looks pretty cool. It's got a pretty cool wavy design on the bottom. I can't tell. It might be just a teapot, the big one, but it's in there pretty good. So we'll see what I can do to get it out, and hopefully it's uh, decent. All right. Gary just pulled out a nice uh, Irish, old Irish whiskey, Mitchell & Co. Nice uh, aqua one. Imperial Court. That's nice. That's very cool. Look at the lip on that. Wow, that's a messy one. That's really cool. And I got this piece of stoneware out. Would have been really nice if it was whole. Might even have some kind of marking on the bo bottom. But yeah, that would have been. Look at that. It's probably just a flower pot or something, but it's still pretty cool. All right. Hi, folks. Well, uh, after getting that uh, piece of stoneware out, I've stopped digging over there. Everything is just broken. Um, it's a lot wetter over there, so I'm assuming a lot of stuff froze. So I came back over here a little bit, and I'm back on the bottles again. Uh, I got in um, this one. It's an Ed Pinot Paris, it says on it, I think. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty lightly embossed. It's pretty cool. Then I got a few in here. This one's still got the label on it. And then I got this big brown one here. So I'll take this one out first. It's just a graduated med, but I think it might have a label on it. Yeah, it's not embossed, but yeah, it's got partial label on it. It's a furniture polish I think I see furniture 
rubbed furniture. Yeah, so it's some type of furniture polish. Pretty cool, man. And let's look. Let's look at this one. Anything else in here? This thing's gonna fall out in a minute anyway. Is that one? No. Oh, it just fell out, damn it. What do we got? It's corked up. I think it anyway, see see how they're full of water over here? I mean I'm surprised this one's probably cracked. Any embossing? I don't think so. No, just a cork top chemical bottle or something. Well, that little Pinot bottle is pretty cool. So we'll uh, continue digging here and see if anything else comes out. Alright guys, right there in front of my rake you got a, it looks to be a med bottle. It's been tough going today, let me tell you. Like I said, you know, there's been a lot of water in this area and a lot of it's been just cracked and destroyed over the years in the winter time. So I'll extract this, see what we got. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, oh, there we go. Pretty sure it's just a slick mat, I don't see nothing on it. It's cracked all the hell too, I think. Looks like it might be. Ooh, that was my stomach, so it's almost lunchtime. Yeah, just a paneled med. All right, we'll see you later. Okay, Gary's called me over. He says he's got maybe a piece of stoneware or something. I uh, can't really see anything, but there's your noggins in the way. Can you see it from there? All right, well, let's see if you can dig her out. I don't want to jump in there with you because two of us in there will never get out. Now I can see it now. Has it got some weird design on it? It's not from the shopping channel. It's not from the shopping channel. It's from Wayfair. Try to catch it if it does fall. Don't let it drop on the rocks and stuff. Still in there? Still in there. All right, I'll, I'll get back when it's close to coming out or when it comes out. It's pulling it out. I don't know if you can see it down there. Whatever it is. What is it? What the heck is it? Made in England. <laughs> what is it? It's a it's a decanter of some kind. That's the only opening right there. And it's got flower like a flower design around it. I've seen those before and I can't remember what they are. Was that part of an old antique toilet? <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> it says on the bottom Green and Company Limited made in England church. Presley. No clue. I have no idea. It's cool. Whatever it is. Fill it with like... I don't know. I've seen that before. I just can't remember where. Something similar. Yeah, made in England. LA Green & Co. We'll have to Google that. Okay guys, I'm back. I had a major collapse, so I'm digging this out as best I can. Um, but out of the collapse came this. I've never heard of it before. It's a Lebanella Orange Kissed. Pretty sure that's what it says. It's a little, little soda. It's kind of got a light blue tint to it. It's got a huge 
flea bite on it right there, or whatever you call those things. But yeah, that's a different one. Never heard of that one. Cool, cool, cool. That's probably from the 20s, I would assume. All right. Hey, everybody. Um, just showing you some of the stuff that I found today. Got that green, which I think is a poison bottle. I might be wrong. Uh, green food jar. Um, another hires extract. Just uh, don't believe there's anything on that bottle. Or is that the... Uh, Yeah, there's something on that. I just can't remember what it is. Oh, if it's the that French one, the Paris one, yeah, that's right. Um, and I found this lid. This was in a a Listerine or something bottle. Still, so that might be an original lid to some of the old school uh, Listerines and stuff. Uh, Kit Fletcher Castoria, uh, Milk of Magnesia, just a couple small little bottles that I like. Um, these two were Magnesium Glass, <clears throat> Magnesium, Magnese Glass, uh, I got the Lemonella, got the Omega Oil with the sheared top, uh, sheared lip, sorry. Um, just a slick uh, aqua med and an Anheuser Busch beer, and just a slick uh, amber bottle. So yeah, pretty good day today. Huge collapse, so kind of threw a wrench into my plans. Um, and I got a honey and almond cream there as well. But oh, and Gary gave me a a wee HP sauce. Just a small guy. So yeah, pretty good day. See where we're staying, I'm not sure. Alright, thanks for watching.